Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be a special one because we're going to be going over everything that came out today for the new The Criminal Enterprises DLC in GTA 5 Online. Now starting off simple, inside of the casino we're going to have of course a new podium vehicle and that is going to be the Reaper which is a pretty cool car. I think this is worth around 1.6 million dollars. So definitely spin the wheel and hopefully you guys end up winning it this week. And let's just get what everybody's waiting for out of the way. The new vehicles that came out with the DLC starting with the Pegasi Terrell XO for 2.8 almost 2.9 million dollars also the Lampadi Corsita here for 1.7 almost 1.8 million right here the benefactor LM87 for 2.9 million and right underneath that we're gonna have the Obey Omnis EGT for 1.7 almost 1.8 million dollars we are also going to be having a brand new vehicle on Southern San Andreas and that's gonna be called the Bravado Greenwood here for 1.1 million dollars we're also gonna have a brand new helicopter on Elitis called the Kanoda for 1.8 or 2.4 million dollars depending if you get the trade price and now let's get into sales back over on legendary we're gonna have the ennis dieta here on sale we're also going to be having the pegasi zaruso on sale and if you actually scroll a little bit farther below that we're gonna also have the deviant here on sale and scrolling further down we also will be having the ocelot links on sale and the last vehicle we will be having on sale on legendary is gonna be the furore gt right here now heading over to southern san andreas we're gonna have the vapid dominator here on sale and we're also going to be having the declassy yosemite here on sale heading over to dynasty 8 executive probably the best sale we're going to have this week is going to be on all of the agencies now agencies are literally 50 percent off this week take a look at how cheap these uh, agencies are you can purchase one for 1.2 million dollars and you can even purchase the one that i have for even cheaper and getting into double money and triple money for this week we will be having a secret email so open up your phone go over here to your emails you should see an email from social club limited time bonuses go ahead and open that you guys can see we're going to be having double money payouts for biker club challenges club work clubhouse contracts and also member challenges are going to be two times money and rp as well as well as vip challenges and vip work now the second half of this email is a little bit different because you're only going to be getting these things double money and triple money only for one time and that's going to be the first time you ever do these things this week now you're going to be getting double the amount of money for your first sell mission triple the amount of manufacturing speed for your gun running businesses like your bunker you're also going to get three times research speed inside of your bunker as well as three times the payout for gun running ammunition contract sourcing which is going to be a new thing they added we'll go over that in a second also triple money payout for the export mixed goods and also triple money for a payout of a select club management we're also going to get three times money for sourcing nightclub goods as well and like i said that second half of the email is only going to be when you do it your first time and Rockstar also added a brand new way for us to make money with the motorcycle club. If you guys actually enter your motorcycle club, you'll see these random bikes spawn inside. If you go up to it and click right D-pad to modify the bike for the customer, it's then going to take you inside of your custom mod shop. And now all you have to do is basically upgrade the motorcycle exactly as it's telling you. You can see it's telling me exactly what to put for the brakes, the turbo, the transmission, all that. You just want to make sure you upgrade the bike exactly as it tells you and make sure that at the bottom right of your screen, all those dots turn green because if it turns red that's how you know you did it incorrectly and if you guys recognize this yes this is basically the same thing that you can do inside of your auto shop with the auto shop deliveries they basically just added a new way for you guys to be doing that with the motorcycle club it feels almost like they copy and pasted the auto shop deliveries but inside of the motorcycle club because it's literally the same thing you customize the motorcycle you deliver the motorcycle over to the client and then you get paid and you do get paid a pretty decent amount for you guys who are wondering take a look here's how much money i got for delivering my first ever motorcycle with the motorcycle delivery system you can see i got paid hundred and eighty thousand dollars so now you can do the auto shop deliveries and also you can do the newly added motorcycle club deliveries and that's not even the only thing they added to the motorcycle club if you guys go inside your motorcycle club go over here to the bar and click left d-pad to resupply bar it's going to put you in a mission where you're basically resupplying supplies for your bar which is inside of your motorcycle club and when you guys get these supplies i'm pretty sure you guys all know what these supplies are it's basically just beer cigarettes anything you have in a bar and once you guys have delivered the supplies to your motorcycle club the way this basically works is the higher your supply level is for your motorcycle club the more passive income you guys will get so think of this kind of like the nightclub or exactly like the nightclub basically where you get your popularity up and the more people that come to your nightclub the more passive money you guys will get added into your safe and yes, there is now a safe inside of your motorcycle club for you to collect that money. 
And lastly, inside the Motorcycle Club, we have two new contracts that got added to the contracts that you can find inside of the wall in your Motorcycle Club. Anyway, now getting over to the bunker, we do have something new that got added, and that's going to be kind of something similar to the auto shop deliveries that we have in the auto shop. So basically, every once in a while, there's going to be a car with weaponry that's going to spawn inside of your bunker right here in this location. Now, it's going to spawn every 10 to 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer than that. But basically, whenever it spawns in your bunker, you can click right D-pad on it and literally just go deliver it to a location. And once you deliver it to that location, you get paid and the amount you get is $150,000. And you can literally deliver these vehicles with weapons in them any single time you see it chilling in your bunker. Also, another little cool thing that they added into the game, if you actually call up Agent 14, you guys have two new options. One, they can request bunker research so you don't have to go all the way back to your bunker to request research. And also a new option where you can request like three different vehicles, a Zion Classic, a Caddy, or also a Granger. But the biggest and most important thing they added to GTA 5 Online today with the DLC is going to be the ability that you guys now have to sell any single business goods in an invite only session. Take a look right now. I'm clearly in an invite only session. And just to show you guys, if I go to my CEO desk right here and let's say I want to sell or source crates for my special cargo warehouse, which is something that before you needed to be in a public session to do. Now, as you can see, you can do this and source crates and also sell your crates in a invite only session yes thank you so much rockstar i actually love you guys for adding this feature because now we don't have to worry about people blowing us up while we're selling or also sourcing our crates for our businesses to make money we also have a new contact that we can unlock in our contact list and his name is johan now if you guys want to unlock johan the only thing you need to do is literally just walk inside of your nightclub that's it once you guys walk inside your nightclub you'll have him unlocked on your contact list and if you call him you can see you can actually request nightclub goods you can also check the stock level of your stocks in your nightclub and you can also check the value of your stocks in your nightclub which is pretty cool you can do all that just by calling johan on the phone and for all my people who own a special cargo warehouse you're you're going to be super happy when you hear this news if you guys go to the first special cargo warehouse you ever bought you're going to see this lady standing go up to her and click right d-pad you guys will see you have an option to source special cargo for seven thousand five hundred dollars if you guys click this option and pay her basically what she's going to do is go source you special cargo crates for only seven thousand dollars which is absolutely insane and the craziest part about this is all the crates that she gets whenever you want to sell them you can just go to your assistant at your ceo office click right there where it says export mixed goods and basically Basically, it's going to have an option for you to sell all the mixed goods that your staff basically picked up for you when you paid them the money. Anyway, another really cool option inside of the special cargo warehouse is going to be this little tool icon on the map inside of your warehouse. So come up to the tool icon and click right D-pad. Once you guys click right D-pad, you're going to see three different options. The first option is going to be delivery truck, delivery planes, and delivery boat. If you guys can already tell, these are basically the only three vehicles you use when you are actually delivering all the crates that you end up selling from your special cargo warehouse. So if you guys want to upgrade any one of these vehicles so it makes your life easier when you do end up doing these sell missions for your special cargo warehouse, by all means, make sure you upgrade these vehicles because it's just going to make your life way easier. It's going to make the planes faster, the trucks faster, and even the boats faster. And it's going to make them all more armored, even though you don't really have to worry about people blowing up either way because you can do it in an invite only session now. We also have a bunch of new missions that Rockstar added into the game for the new DLC, and these are going to be the new IAA missions. Now, if you guys go over to the IAA building, you're going to see a letter U on the map. So just head over to where that letter U is, and you guys will see there's going to be like a yellow circle on the map. So just go up to that circle, click right D-pad, and you can actually do all the new missions for yourself. Anyway, we're also going to be having a brand new weapon into the game that they added, and it's going to be called the Precision Rifle. It's going to cost you a total of $414,000 if you do want to purchase it for yourself, but I highly recommend purchasing. It's actually a pretty good vehicle. It's a one shot to the chest, of course, one shot to the head, and a two shot, if anything, if you hit anything lower than the chest. Anyway, another option that you guys can now add to your Sparrow, if you guys do own a Sparrow, is going to be flares in the back to protect you from anybody who shoots missiles at you. All you have to do is modify your Sparrow inside your Kosatka, come down to where it says countermeasures, and now you can see you can click a flare or you can click the chaff, which are basically two different options for you to have flares on the back of your helicopter so you don't get shot down by a Presser Mark IIs or anything that shoots missiles. 
Also, another really cool thing Rockstar added with the new DLC is the ability to put low grip tires on any single vehicle in the game. It doesn't matter if it's a Faggio or whatever vehicle it is, you can put low grips on it now. All you have to do is take the vehicle that you want to put low grips on to the HSW workshop at the LS car meet. Go over to the uh, tire enhancements at the wheel section and you can put low grip tires on whatever vehicle you guys want. You can see I literally just put them on my adder. Also, another really cool thing Rockstar added into GTA with the new DLC is the ability to call the mechanic and request your vehicle super fast. So take a look. I just requested my car right now. All right, now we're going to count one, two, three, four, five and it took a total of only five seconds for me to get my vehicle which is way faster than it was before another really cool thing that they added with the new dlc is the ability that you guys now have to run inside of any building you can now run inside of the casino finally i don't even know how much time of my life i've spent walking in this casino because before walking in the casino literally took forever but now you have the ability to run in here and you can also run in any other building you own all right but now let's get into the things that rockstar have basically nerfed and starting off with kd now yes kd is no longer really something that matters in gta because if you are somebody in a public session or any session at all in gta even an invite only session and you die to somebody it's no longer going to affect your kd same thing goes for if you do end up killing people in sessions though it's it's not going to make your KD go up or lower. Basically, your KD can't get affected at all in any sessions anymore, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Also, another really cool option that Rockstar added is the ability to take snacks and armor through your weapon wheel. All you have to do is open up your weapon wheel by holding LB. And you guys can see if you want to take snacks, all you have to do is click up on your D-pad. Or if you want to use armor, all you have to do is click down on your right joystick. And just like that, it makes you eat a snack or it makes you take an armor and it doesn't even give you the animation, which is really, really cool. Probably my favorite thing they added with the new DLC this week in GTA is going to be the ability that we have to own 10 apartment garages. Now, you guys know before we could only own eight total apartment garages. As you can see, I have eight right now, but they added the ability to purchase two more. So now instead of owning eight apartment garages, you can now own a total of 10. You can see I took full advantage of that and I bought two full 10 car garage apartments as fast as I could. Anyway, another thing that they nerfed in the game is going to be the Oppressor Mark II, something that a lot of people keep talking about because they think that the Oppressor Mark II is useless now, but it really isn't. It's still really good for maneuvering and going all around the map, but the only thing it's not good for is locking on and shooting onto any target because basically it doesn't shoot as accurate anymore, and it's kind of basically pointless if you're going to think of going to kill people with an Oppressor Mark II now. Anyway, they also sadly nerfed the KO Perico heist, but this only really affects people who do the KO Perico heist normally, because if you do the KO Perico heist replay glitch, you don't really have to worry about this because you never lose your heist, but if you do the KO Perico heist normally, you guys are going to have to wait 48 minutes before you decide to do it again, which kind of sucks. That's how they nerfed it. Anyway, inside the LS car meet, we're going to have a brand new prize red vehicle. It's going to be this vehicle right there. And if you want to win it for completely free, go to your interaction menu, go to LS car meet, go to prize ride challenge. And all you have to do is come in first place in a LS car meet series race for four days in a row and you'll get it for free. Anyway, let's get into the new test track vehicles for this week in the LS car meet. Starting off with the Ferrar GT right here with this pretty cool blue paint job. Right next to that, we will be having the Classe Yosemite. And right next to that, we are going to be having the Deviants. And finally, lastly, the new time trials for this week, starting off with the regular time trials, going to be located in Stab City, the RC Bandito time trials located right here at the cemetery, and then the HSW time trial is going to be located right here at the Del Piero Beach Pier. And yeah, that is everything that came out today with the weekly update slash DLC update in GTA 5 Online. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy. If you guys did go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you guys do me a big favor and drop a like and also hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'm going to be uploading for like the next week or two every single day since we got so much content today. And also, if you guys didn't hear me mention certain vehicles or weapons that you guys were expecting to hear in the video, it's most likely because it didn't come out today. It's going to be coming out in the next coming weeks as drip feed vehicles and drip feed weapons and drip feed properties it's all going to be coming out in the next few weeks basically so just keep that in mind but that's it for me and i'll see you guys in my next video peace